Breeze topic number three says, what's the backstory here? Tariq slapped his old man who came with a link, I believe, takes us to Twitter. So here's a tweet from Tariq Nasheed. I have him blocked personally, but uh, I'm glad they allowed me to see the video here. So this is a tweet from Tariq saying, lifelong criminal to Harker Bay, who has been repeatedly threatening me, flew out from Baltimore to LA to confront me at our community museum. And in self-defense, I slapped him, ran him off the block, and neutralized the threat. You know, it's interesting to me that Tariq is supposedly an author, and this is how he writes. This is wild to me. Uh, but I digress. So let's see the uh, video in question. Crap, hold on. So I guess there's no sound. That's Tariq on the right-hand side walking down this guy to Haka Bay, who's on the left. Somewhere here. Boom, there's a slap. Now Tariq is backing up. And then uh, they're just standing up, I guess, looking at each other here. And now Tariq is retreating again somewhat and going on his way. I'll play it one more time. If you're familiar with who Tariq Nasheed is, you could recognize, you know, it's grainy footage, but that's Tariq in like a suit or something here on the right. That's the Huckabee backing his ass up. Three, four car lengths. This is about time when Tariq hauls off and slaps the shit out of him right there. Uh, Tariq backs up a bit, as you would do after you slap a dude. Now they, I guess, they're going back and forth verbally until Tahaka Bay just gets up out of there with Tariq menacing it. So that's the <laughs> that's the footage of this Tahaka Bay. Now Tahaka Bay is a character I didn't know about him. I, I may have heard about him before. Maybe, maybe I did hear about him, or I might be come. Confusing it with Taharka of uh, of Kemet uh, history, but this guy Taharka Bay is allegedly a mo, I guess. Uh, uh, you know those fans wearing dudes, and uh, he had been going back and forth with Tariq before online. Uh, Tariq did a video of him of Taharka Bay calling him a sex offender and violent towards women. And uh, Tahaka Bay says that's defamation, and he he was he was allegedly in L.A. here in this video to serve some papers to Tariq with regards to this defamation suit, and that's when Tariq walked him down and slapped him there. So then he had a whole story afterwards about what really you know what allegedly happened. It wasn't really a slap, but you know he barely touched him, all this kind of stuff. And then Tahaka did something that I really, I really have no respect for, if I'm to be honest. You know, uh, Umar Johnson did something similar too. Uh, and uh, I mean, both cases had something to do with Tariq. So after Tariq hits this guy to slap here, Tariq goes online instantly, emotional, goes online and says, I just had to slap the shit out of Tahaka Bay, blah, blah, blah. So he admits to assaulting the guy, right? But Tahaka Bay then comes back and says, oh, you, you know what, guys? Set up a pay-per-view MMA event. And it's like, dude, what are you talking about? Omar did the same thing. Uh, oh, yeah, let's get in the ring and box. Like, what are you talking? Like, this tells me how unserious folks are. And the fact that these guys have a following, like major followings, too. Even, even for small channels, they have good followers. It is absolutely ridiculous of our people that we support a lot of this shit. But anyway, I digress. Tanzan, are you aware of any of that that I just talked about? 
Yes, yes, I had it. I found it hilarious. <laughs> I found it hilarious. Firstly, that somebody would just fly all the way, you know, leave his business, his town, all of this. What are you going to do? I'm flying out. To do what? To go confront another man. Look, even if it was a, a real libel case where, you know, you're scandalized in some way or whatever, you can do all that. You don't, you know, through the regular means, you don't have to go confront somebody and what was he expecting what what was he you know what was the best outcome if you know how somebody is already and then you go and and you know verbally physically confront them what exactly are you going to do you know you want him to to say he's sorry you want him to take it back you expect him to do so like it's such a ridiculous thing a waste of your money a waste of your time a waste of everybody's time you, you know and then and, and this this old man should know better you know, being older, like he just, I, I, for me, this one is not on, you know, Tariq, this old man just embarrassed the hell out of himself. You don't go out of your way and especially going into somebody else's territory. If you, if somebody came to you, obviously you have a right to defend yourself if, you know, but if you go into somebody else's territory, you don't know what you're dealing with. And if you do know what you're dealing with, why go at it that way? If it was a, he had a real case, then you should take it up to either public opinion or, you know, uh, take it up legally. So, no, he could have, he, and then in doing this, he could risk his life. What if somebody, you know, who is perhaps, you know, um, one of his loyalists come in and does something to him? He didn't know that he was going to be alone or like just risking your, your effort for nothing for very, very little, like people have to be more, you know, uh, circumspect about their lives. Like, are you just willing to throw this, you know, don't you have anything to do, old man, then go fly out from Baltimore and to go confront somebody you already know his character and his history and so on. Like, the, the, it, it's just ridiculous. It, it's funny in a way, but it, it's funny in a way that is just sad. And, and these are men, you know, grown men. These are not boys. Like, well, if you see this with, with and even boys, are, they're stupid, but they'll, they'll actually, you know, fight. But they're not even fighting. They're just, you know, slapping each other like that old, you know, Will Smith thing, like such a waste of time. But in any case, no, I, I don't feel, you know, bad for either one. It's just, a, I guess, like a, a clown show for, for, for both of them. But, yeah. Yeah, John John made two good points there. To, to fly out, to buy a ticket and fly out and rent a car to get your ass cut is, is a level of, of, of foolishness that that the, the best comedy shows couldn't capture that properly. You bought a ticket to fly out, welcome to L.A., to get your ass cut. It's crazy. I forget what the second point was, but that, that one I had to get to. I mean, come on, man. Rizuli, what's say you? Um, I'm not defending to rock a bay. I'm not defending anything, but Tariq did say this is a public, public space. He didn't fly out to go to, to go to the museum. He flew out. I saw his, he flew out to file, a, a complaint against Tariq, but in the court, he said after that or whatever, he went to see the museum because Tariq was talking about this is supposed to be like a million dollar stuff a big thing or whatever comes to find out it looks like a little bodega right I'm not saying it is a public space he didn't fly out to confront Tariq he flew out to, to handle some court business and then when he went to check out he said he was checking out checking out footage he claimed he's a journalist or whatever to show the people what Tariq did with their money, and Tariq pulled up and and did that. So for Tariq to go out and talk about, I slapped the shit out of Taraka Bay, now you could get sued, bro. First, Taraka Bay was saying, no, he didn't slap me. Now I saw a video where he didn't want to say that because I guess they're planning. he's planning to sue Tariq. And guess what Tariq is going to do if he gets sued for that little slap? So he's going to raise the money from people who's going to give him money so at the end of the day, this is too, like, Tehaka Bay was a jailbird. Tariq Nishid is a, is a grifter or a slash agent. All this could be a show for play, a created reality. So I'm not defending him, but I'm certainly not going to be like Tariq Nishid. Was, why did Tariq Nishid go slap him? There's no reason for that. This is, you claim this is a public uh, uh, museum for 
to black people. So how are you going there and then and, 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 and then you're gonna do that? This is so disturbing. Grown men. Grown men. And the, and, and the worst part is people and in, in the YouTube um realm are really egging the song. Yes, Tariq, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, to Hawker, but yeah. Like, are we serious? And this is what Koku just said. Uh pay-per-view to see you two old bats. Why would I want to do that? One one man wearing a, a, a man weave and another man with his eyes bulging like he got Tyrod's problems. <laughs> like this is ridiculous. This is this is the people that that we look up to. These are the defenders. I passed the mic. Bro. Thank you for that, Erzuli in the chat. Yana B is here. She says. They are all in cahoots. Uh, his show says hello to everyone. Before that, our boy Kyle Hezekiah is in the chat. He says, Tariq is a never-ending source of embarrassment. How this guy has any standing in the community is amazing. With that said, let's welcome Kyle to the panel this week. Kyle, how are you? I'm doing well. Can you hear me okay? Yes, sir. We, we hear you loud. Okay. All right. Good. All right. I got uh, my headphones Kyle, on. Say what? Uh, what say you to this to this prompt? Oh, it's just it's so funny. It makes me think of uh, you know how gym and professional wrestling, you know, Hulk Hogan versus Ultimate Warrior. They fight, and you know, they set a pay per view for WrestleMania. That's all this is. This is just WWE nonsense. You know, it's it's, it's sad really that Tariq has such a standing, and so many people follow him and listen to him. Like he's He's a whole clown. You know, I, I think of something I heard in Star Wars. Obi-Wan Kenobi said, who is more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows him? And every time I think about, you know, some people listen to Tariq and like him, like, who is following this guy? He did his whole hidden history documentary, then he flip-flopped, and now he's talking bad about black people, about, uh, black immigrants, and it's just, this guy is all over the place. And, you know, he just exists just to really to take advantage of our, of our plight and get, make his money. And, you know, grifters are nothing new in the black community. We've always had people taking advantage of our situation. So he's just another, you know, blink in the next generation of grifters and, and shysters and thieves and criminals that latch onto the black struggle. So that's what I see. I mean, I'm not familiar with the Harker Bay or anything like that, but I do know that, you know, Tariq is just a clown. I'm surprised people still follow him. It's just, it's just amazing where we are as people. We really are down bad. And I'll pass the mic. Thank you for that, Carl. Uh, so when this problem was put up, uh, there was another similar prompt. So let me post that right now. So the similar prompt that was posted was, why are grown men fighting in the street? The infantilization of the black male. And this this uh, second prompt came with a link. I'm going to play it. And then we'll, we'll continue the conversation. The Hark of Bay just came up here to the museum. Shout out to the security up here. Shout out to his brother here. I just slapped the shit out of Taharka Bay. Car walks towards me. And he said, what you doing at my pay? He got his keys in his hand. He got his phone in his hand. And he actually swings at me. He got his keys and his phone in his hand. I mean, he actually uh, swings at me. You know what I mean? Um, I dips and backs up. He's steady talking. He backs up. He back. I backs up. And he's steady talking, cussing, cussing, cussing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, man, you don't want to do that. All these police right here. I said, no, nah. I said, you don't want to do that. You got security there, police right there. You don't want to do that. You sure you want to do that? You know what I'm saying? He said, your bitch ain't beat me. I mean, and so I could have, I could have beat him it's easy. You know what I'm saying? He, he swung, I dipped. And I was like, and I, I did do like this. I was like, you, you, you really want this? You really want it in front of my place? What you doing in front of my place? And I, I kind of, I said, I backed up a little bit. I said, he jumped out the car. I said, I said, man, you better go ahead. I said, man, you better go ahead. Yo, that bitch Taharka Bay just came up the museum. Shout out to the security up here. Shout out to slap the shit out of Taharka Bay. He did. I'm not, for real. He swung really, really softly. You know what I'm saying? And I dipped. And um, 
All right. You, did you see me slap the shit out of him? <laughs> no, I got a body cam. I got a body cam because I know how you weirdos are. And I have to defend myself. I need to see what happened. People got to know what happened. People are like, oh, you the police? No. Nah. <laughs> I just slapped the shit out of Taharka. What you doing at my pay? He got his keys in his hand. He got his phone in his hand. And he actually swings at me. He got his keys in his phone in his hand. I mean, he actually uh, swings at me. You know what I mean? Um, I dips. And up, he's steady talking. He backs up. He back. I backs up, and he's steady talking, cussing, cussing, cussing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, man, you don't want to do that. All these police right here. I said, no. Nah. I said, you don't want to do that. You got security there, police right there. You don't want to do that. You sure you want to do that? You know what I'm saying? He said, your bitch ain't beat me. I mean, and so, um, because of the situation, you know, with the with the security and the police. I just slapped the shit out of Taharka Bay and ran him the fuck up out of here. I jumped in the, I jumped in the V and, and, and got low. It is what it is. I mean, I jumped in the V and, and left. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, I mean, I, I got nothing to prove to nobody. I came out here to file uh, uh, the case. Yeah, I wanted to play that part. Um, you know, something you want to be said a little while ago, man. Wouldn't it be crazy to find out 50, 60 years from now that all these guys were meeting up somewhere and, and writing out these storylines and stuff like that. And the reason why I like this, this follow-up prompt is because it uses that term infantilization. I've talked about that a lot in the past on, on the podcast. Um, these guys, when you look at Tariq and stuff, for example, these guys, this guy Tariq always uses little silly talk all the time and his people don't pick up on it on how he's treating them like children you know when you play with a kid you, you say peekaboo peekaboo and, and the kid giggles and stuff that's what Tariq and them do they say things like bussy 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 and the the the, the folks in the chat just giggling you know and, and and our people are not realizing you know this is why i made that short uh some time back talking about the babying of black folks we got to stop that we gotta stop this babying thing. We 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 fall head over heels for people who do this little this little sucker shit. But it'll be crazy to find out 60 years from now that all you know when these guys have died and gone, that you know, yeah, all these, these guys were in an organization together. They was writing these these storylines and coming up with seasons worth of, 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 of storylines just to divide, keep the people divided and make a little money. It's crazy. Uh, Buana, you you saw and heard everything that was said and seen. What say you to this? Yeah. Um, in terms of the infantilization of, of black uh, males, it's not only does he eat um, Tariq Nasheed, he has these little nicknames and things like that. He even has puppets. You know, he, he understands the nature of his audience so much that he knows that grown men will be entertained by puppets. And making fun of people through puppets, puppetry. You know what I mean? It's like we, 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 we could take you straight back, not only to elementary school, but to Sesame Street. Because he understands the level of the thinking of his audience. And it's, 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 it's sad in a way. Because imagine, imagine John Henry Clark on the street corner slapping Dr. Amos Wilson to something he would have said he disagreed with. You know what? See, the, the thing is... Um, the, the, the difference between grown men and children is men think with their minds and children think with their hearts. This is the reason why he could appeal his his audience so much so on an emotional level because he knows that his audience are grown children and he deals with them. He, he goes on the platform and he confesses to an assault. In the real world, it works as an assault. But in the minds of a mind of a child who wants to exert himself into merely manliness or being a masculine person, he has to confess. Well, I slapped I slapped Huckabee, which is an assault, and I ran him off of the block. You know, in the eyes of, of, of a child, they would think, well, this is a manly thing to do, not understanding that his confession could cause him to go to prison, to go to jail. You know. It's, it's interesting the, the, the interplay with these brothers, man. And both of these brothers are over 50. 
But but I I would have played the situation differently because if he had assaulted me, the next video you would have saw me in was in a neck ass. And I would have been saying that I was in fear of my life. I was only filming. And this man, Tariq Machine, came up and attacked me. So we would have that in the courtroom because grown men think with their minds. Children think with their hearts. I would bust his pockets up and ruin him financially. But he didn't, he didn't, I understand that he didn't, in, in the, the heat of the moment, he wasn't thinking along those, along the, those lines because he already didn't fly out. <laughs> he already didn't fly out to, to hand this man papers. But when you're dealing with men, men play chess. We don't play checkers. We don't play checkers. And it's in the details that count. And in the details that he forwarded to his audience is he confessing to admitting an assault on camera. And any judge in the world after viewing this particular film and hearing this confession not only would screw him financially, but put him behind prison. It matters. The details matters. It matters. You know what I mean? But he, like I say, Tariq Shields understands his audience and he appeals, he appeals to them solely on an emotional level. You know, because they don't use their brains to think. They think with their hearts. You know, but it's unfortunate. Like I say, these these are fifty these are fifty year olds, you know, guys who live half a century, and it's unfortunate they can't work on their issues in a different manner than they choose to. Two black men who say they love black people. I'll stop there. Yeah, um, yeah, you you expanded on that point excellently. Yeah, I mean, if I'm, I don't care how much I like Tariq uh, uh, because he's charismatic and funny or whatever. Uh, I would have to question, why is this guy always coming around me? Number one, begging for money all the time. Number two, why is he always coming around me with puppets and cartoons and and silly little terms that he keeps saying over and over to get a little chuckle? Plebiscite, bussy, boochie bear. You know, you're talking about Brandon. Like, I would have to pause one day and be like, wait a minute. What is this that's happening here? But like you said, this guy knows his audience. He knows that <clears throat> this is exactly what's up their sleeves. And that's a shame. That's a shame. I'm going to say it directly to black Americans who follow that shit. That's a shame that y'all will let some, some little childish shit like this, puppets and little cartoons and little, um, little, little uh, mobile games. And all, it's a shame that y'all will let this shit guide y'all and, and actually make y'all anti other black folks, anti your 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 ancestral homeland. Like it's it's wild to me that this shit works. You know, and and, and, I, and I brought up Brandon, like I said, I think Brandon's well mean, but even Brandon and them are, are going heavy into the algorithms where every almost every day these guys are bringing up to Reek Machine. Almost every day is the same shit going back and forth. And my thing is, if you're going to shut the guy down, organize to shut him down. Don't organize MMA fights and all this old stupid shit. You know? Organize to shut him down. Organize to expose him. That's one of the things I... Someone on... I, I, think, I think it was... No, no, it was on... I think it was on Brandon's channel in the chat. In the, in the comments on the video, I was saying something. This guy was taken up for Tariq and all this kind of stuff. And, 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 and my thing is, like, what do you really get from Tariq? You know, what are you really getting? In fact, who is Tariq? So if you're going to go up against the guy, man, go and shut the shit down. You know, in the chat, Yana B says, Tariq's so-called museum was opening in a few days from that slap. He wanted to press on media for it. KW Don Seven says to Harker Bay was clout chasing. He didn't have to surf Ming slide for a lawsuit. Yeah, that was the second thing I was going to say uh, in the last prompt to Tan. Uh, you can get a process served. You can get someone to serve papers. You don't have to personally fly out there to serve this man papers. The, you could get the, the court. could you could you Through the court, you could get a person to go do that. You know, provide triggers is here this week. He says a good example as to why I gassed him up as disengaged from this nonsense 
which keeps our community in a state degenerative status quo. Does anyone else on the panel want to add something to this discussion? All right. Seems everyone said what they had to say. Let's go on to shoot the breeze topic number four. Um, shoot the breeze.